We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. It is time for evolution. So in today's video, we're going to be drawing hands using the, the six-line method and the five-line method, depending on rather you're looking at the hand from the palm view or you're looking at the hand from the uh, the, the top view. All right, now pay attention to the five different lines. Now, understanding these five different lines will help you to align the the open hand proportionally rather you're looking at it from palm view or you're looking at it from the top view of a hand so these five this the five line method uh, you won't find anywhere else because this is what goes on in my head subconsciously when i'm drawing the, a, a hand or an open hand or a hand from this this kind of view so the the yellow circles are the knuckles and the, and the building blocks of the hand and we're, and we're going to uh go over that later so again you know the five line uh pay attention to where i place these five lines because this is this is how you're going to uh get a uh th these are going to be guidelines to help fit your hand proportionally so we're going to be drawing the right hand from the palm view ideally these two circles should be equal in size while the middle is spaced apart you know so that the middle finger of the knuckle should be at the center of those two uh two large circles you know, so the construction doesn't have to be perfect uh, when when you're doing gesture drawing of the hand that's why it's ideally so just keep in mind that uh, the circles are the same uh, so so the first line will be at the edge of those two circles where the thumb is since we're looking at the palm from the right side of the hand and the second one the other on the other edge of the two circles the second line will, will go through the middle of the pinky knuckle now back to the other edge, we're going to be drawing a thumb knuckle and we're going to be making a zigzag shape or think of it like a bump or a greater than yeah, or less than sign in mathematics. Now from the middle of the those bumps, we're going to start to draw the third line and, and it is at the middle or the center of them and it, that breaches towards the, the top knuckle of the thumb at the center. And when you're drawing the top knuckle of the thumb, align it with the rest of the knuckles, but a bit lower so key note some hands and styles will have a, a large bottom knuckle pushed more towards the bottom but you can experiment when you practice the fourth line is, is slanted and it will be at the edge of the middle finger knuckle the, the the fifth line is going to be directly at the edge of the pinky knuckle then you will draw one of the bony landmarks of the arm and it is also called the styloid process which is part of the ulna or it's just that bump and so i'm going to be placing red dots in the middle of those bumps on the side of the hands and so when you're drawing the bottom fat pad on the hand align it to the middle of the four knuckles on top not the middle knuckle because there are five knuckles including the thumb side so ideally align it to the empty space of those four knuckles on top so for the red dot closest to the thumb that's where all the fat pads lines and the wrinkle lines are going to go towards and now we're going to be drawing the finger gloves it's a few inches above the two main circles and also note that the fourth line is on the other end of the, the middle finger. The lines that are drawn at the center of each knuckles are guidelines for the positioning of the fingers that should be spread open in alignment with the, the with the black dot on in the bottom on the bottom. Uh, I should have made that a different color, but you know anyway, we're going to start to draw the fingertips and divide your fingers in length and the, divide them from bigger bigger to small divides from top to bottom. And as we draw the fingers, uh, make sure there's bumps where the divides are located and the middle finger will be the tallest while the pinky finger will be the shortest. And as we clean up the, the thumbs uh, at the edge of the circle, uh, is where at the, end of the, at the edge of those circles is where the skin folds are going to form. And so I'm going to be cleaning up the hands and as I clean up the hands, I'm going to be drawing the, the folds, or not the folds, the, uh, the, the finger pads, the finger pads, just, it's just a quick sketch of the finger pads, just cleaning it up a little bit. It's kind of, still kind of messy, but it's a bit better. So I'm just uh, forming the, uh, the finger pads here in this, uh, in this example. And so to go back and highlight the different circles once more, 
And also, key point there is there are actually six different lines. And I'm going to go into that soon. But there are six different lines when you're looking at the palm uh, open. And there are five lines when you're looking at the palm uh, on top. When you're looking at your hand on top, there are five because uh, it's reduced to it's, it's reduced to five because less lines are being uh, are visible when you're looking at it from the top. And so I'm going to show you. And so these are like uh, the four different uh, lines or five different lines that I went over. The the fifth the the other line that I mentioned was the one. Uh, the, the one that goes in between the the, the two bumps the, the, where the red dots are located that's where the fifth line would be you know but the sixth line uh, where the brown line is at uh, I'm going to correct that but that's also one another line that's visible from your palm so there's actually like five lines to keep track of when you're looking at palms I mean six lines to keep track of when you're looking oh my gosh six lines to keep track of when you're looking at your palms and five lines to keep track of when you're looking at uh, your hand from the top and so for the fifth line uh, there's a little correction here so you align that fifth line to where that pinky knuckle is uh, located okay so that fifth line would be where that pinky knuckle is located there and again there's six lines but I for the, for, for the sake of the video and the labels that I have there, this is the fifth line and you put it there. But there are actually six lines that are that are viewed from the palm. And so the third line that we drew is going to reach the bending point of the thumb. And this is where, you know, the, the bird shape originates. This is where the bending point, think of it as a, as a bird shape, the bird that's flying across the beach from a distance, you know, a bird from a distance far away far away type of bird and so when you are drawing the hands uh, keep track of the line of balance the line of balance is like bumping on those three those three bumps that are on the hand and the, your forearm and they're like at where the, the styloid process is at with the wrist and where the brachialis muscle for the arm is at so it makes this a line of balance And so we're going to be drawing the, the right arm of the interior top up top portion of the hand, the right side. So as opposed to so as opposed to six lines, we're going to focus on like five lines because we're looking at it from the interior or the top view of the right hand. So right now I'm showing something extra. So to to correctly place your, your thumb knuckle uh, using the blue line, I cut the circle in half and then I cut the top part in half and then finally I cut the middle part in half. And the thumb knuckle placement will be on the first two blue lines and, and then afterwards I draw the, the the drape line you know over the knuckles because it comes in handy when drawing the webbing so right now I'm drawing the drape line over the knuckles and the bump to the, the right side of the hand lands on on the, near the same position as the bottom of the, of the knuckle with, with the two first two blue lines and so again, the red line goes at the edge of the two large circles. The green line crosses the middle uh, section of the pinky knuckle. The purple line uh, is going to originate from the midsection of the, the bump and, and land on the, uh, the, the, the middle of the top of the, of the thumb knuckle. The yellow line stands at the edge of the middle finger and goes beyond the circle because we're going to draw the nails. And so the top part of the yellow line should end at the other side of the finger. Afterwards, drop the lower uh, end of the yellow line to the wrist. And then the pink line is where the, the style of the process is at. So again, we're going, we're looking at it at the, the right at the, at the right hand from the top view and therefore it's five lines but if we were looking at it from the bottom the palm section it, it would be six lines and so now we're going to finish up the thumb and so with the thumb with the nails the nails are going is going to be showing so the nails are kind of going to be kind of shown it you start it from the middle and then you add folds to where the knuckles are at like fold marks that's where the knuckles are at so now we're going to draw the glove and at, at the top end of the, of the glove we're going to indicate where the fingers are going to be 
and so we're going we're go, we're going to after that we're going to divide the fingers uh and in between those divisions we're going to add bumps as to where those fingers will pop up so so where do you know where would you know where to place the the, the divides for the glove uh you cut the glove in half and then you cut the glove in half again for the top part so right now we're doing the divisions and we're adding bumps to where the knuckles are at as to where the where the divisions are at you know And so for the knuckles, make a shape that looks like a power button on a television remote, but give them bony edges. And the, and the knuckle marks in the red should meet towards the, the center of the wrist. And remember that, that knuckles are stationary and they do not move. So the only part of the hand that moves are the fingers. So whatever stretched hand poses that you're drawing, uh, knuckles do not move, only the fingers. And so we're just gonna clean this up a little. And, and so now we'll be uh, finishing up the hands and whatnot by providing the, the fingernails and the fold lines to where the division points are at. So these squiggly lines where knuckles are at, it's like, you know, the bending marks mark of your knuckles, you know. And so where the drape, where the drape lines that went over the knuckles earlier, those are helping to indicate where the webbing is at. And also the, the zigzag shape that's highlighted in purple, uh, that touches both the thumb knuckle and the index knuckle, and be sure to smooth the bump out. And again, we'll conclude with the line of balance that uh, that uh, that balances the arm, that the hand, and the forearm. And so that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think about the, the video of the hand and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.